So we have a bunch of new knives to get through and we're gonna show a couple knives that have already been featured on the channel, but let's check out the Vosti Thunderbird first. Now this is the full titanium version, which is really cool. Now, this is not in stock at the moment. However, it will be in stock very soon. I think they said the sixth or the eighth, right around there. Um, hopefully I'm allowed to give that information. So if you're watching this before then, it, the titanium one will be out at that point. Right now you can get the non-titanium versions. So there is multiple different color options uh, for with, multi, with multi-colored G10. And they're really cool. Now they're an S35VN. This one's in LMAX. So this is an LMAX drop point Tonto blade with a dual grind. And they have a stone washed finish on the cutting a grind and then a satin on the flats, which is pretty cool. That's very, very well done. It does have steel liners on the inside, but, uh, but yeah, these are still nice thick titanium scales, titanium backspacer, hidden lanyard pin, deep carry titanium clip that's inset with flat screws and reversible. Now, here's the thing. The other version that I have, the multicolor G10 one, I said that the detent was on the lighter side. I don't know if this is how they're gonna do all these, but this one has a stout detent, a really nice detent. You can just see it, just, I mean, it is snappy, which I really appreciate because all the deployments on this knife, you have a ton of leverage. You can easily do a nice strong reverse flick, thumb flick, you can even get down here into the fuller, and then the front flipper is a perfect front flipper for any sort of deployment, whether you wanna use your thumb, the side of your finger, the rollover, reach over, whatever you wanna call it. Um, they all work really good, and especially now that this detent is tuned stronger, my goodness, is this thing awesome. Yeah, that's a lot snappier than my other one. So, you know, that was one of the negatives. Now, I don't know, like I said, if that's gonna be the same way across the board with the titanium ones, hopefully it is. Um, ergonomics, I personally like it choked up a little bit, you know, like the nice pinch grips for opening things up. And then, you know, it does work good in a reverse grip or the gas station knife fighting grip. But, you know, it, it's a pretty cool knife. It's very fidgety and, you know, it has, um, you know, a pretty cool style to it. It doesn't look like anything else out there, at least nothing that I can think of. So that's another cool part about it. And uh, yeah, like I said, this will be, a, oh yeah, and then the LMAX Steel. The LMAX Steel, I think is 60 to 62 HRC, if I remember correctly. Uh, but anyways, like I said, these will be available very soon, but right now you can get the other version in S35VN in multicolored G10. Oh, speaking of Vosti, don't forget the Morel is still available as well. Now, the Morel has an N690 dual ground blade. Some people like it, some people hate it. Regardless, it's still a really high quality knife. Got these nice aluminum scales. You know, it almost feels like you're, you have a titanium knife, you know, without it uh, being titanium and having the price of titanium. But really good action. I do have a full video on this, so definitely go and check that out if you are interested. I will have everything from this video linked down in the description. Now, the next one is the new Migaron Centaurion. Now I have featured the other version of this. The, well, I've actually featured a bunch of different versions of this because there's a lot of different options. They got the budget version, which is a liner lock version. They have the multicolor G10 one. Now this one is the nice, beautiful carbon fiber. I personally love this one. This one's probably my favorite one yet. Heavy, heavy milling on the titanium bolster lock. Um, S90V blade steel. And then it has a nice drop point blade, fantastic access to the lock bar, very comfortable disengagement, and it is extremely, extremely smooth. My goodness, is this detent solid. This has the most perfect detent for that this knife could have. You know, the thumb studs, literally the exact amount of pressure I want to be able to apply to a thumb stud to launch it out. Same thing for the reverse flick and the flipper tab, which is really cool, man, because a lot of companies are not able to to secure that with both deployments, but they did on this one. Very, very comfortable ergonomics. You know, you can kind of see it, it's slightly contoured, all the sides are chamfered really nicely, so everything kind of just melts right in your hand. This is definitely a super duper comfortable knife. Um, titanium mill pocket clip that does work well, and then it does have a titanium backspacer. And the one complaint I have, I actually have a couple, um, I wish it was a, a satin or a stonewash, that's one thing, instead of a bead blast, 
S90V is very stainless, so I'm not that worried about it, but it'd be nice. Um, next thing, you know, I always prefer a better plunge grind. This one does give you a couple sharpening, so that's not a negative, really. You know, it's just more of a preference. But one thing I will consider a negative is the T6s. I wish these were T8s. T8s would be so, so much better. But, you know, these are all little tiny nitpicks, and they are not, none of them are deal breakers. All of these are... Um, Really, I mean, I guess that's up to you whether or not it's a deal breaker, but I wouldn't consider any of those a deal breaker, um, especially with how cool the knife is. Let's get to the next one. So I'm checking out a flashlight from Nightcore. Now I'm sure Nightcore's been making flashlights for a long time, but this is my first experience with one of their flashlights. And I have the MH25 Pro. And I gotta say, very impressed. This thing throws light like crazy. So it says it's 3,300 lumens, and that, that's probably true. Um, and then the max distance is 705 meters, which I did put to the test. I actually was in a field. I don't know how far the trees were, but if I had to estimate, I'd say a quarter mile maybe. And, you know, and it totally pretty much went the full distance. You could see, I could see the light shining on all the trees way back there. And like I said, that was a very, very far distance away. You know, I walked past a park and lit up a park area and it's just, it's super intense, super bright. And one thing I really appreciate about it is that you have a little pad right here. You can listen. So you can click it. Now that has your battery life, so you know exactly how much battery you have and the intensity. So you can change the intensity right there and you can see exactly what mode it's on. So you're not like guessing and having to go through it. And then the tail switch, again, very clicky, nice assertive click. So, you know, you can really feel when it's on and off and it has a nice aluminum body. It's got a good weight to it, a great thickness in the hand. You know, it's one, you know, when you got it in your hand, it's really secure. You know, you feel like it, it, it's got, it's a good thickness and a good size, I'm basically trying to say. Um, now, it does have the little teeth in the front. I don't know how useful those would be, you know, for bashing or anything like that. And I haven't given it any durability tests. I haven't thrown it across concrete. I haven't hit anybody over the head with it yet. But, you know, we'll see how it goes in the future. Um, but it is a rechargeable which is very cool. It's supposed to be waterproof um, or at least water resistance. It, I don't know what IP68 is, but that's how, you know, supposed to be water resistant to that level, <laughs> whatever that means. I do like how the handle, if you look at the jipping around the handle, it spirals, which is actually really, really cool. So yeah, like I said, it's just a good size. It throws light really good. You know, it, it's very easy to use. And I like that, you know, you can, you know, set it to the setting you want, leave it there or change it. And then you can see the battery life and all that. And then I'm gonna link these guys down in the description. I'm hoping to try more stuff from them because after trying this, you know, I, I feel like they have some really good stuff. Uh, you know, you kind of just know, you know, when you get something in hand, you can kind of tell, yeah, that's good quality. Uh, but they have a ton of stuff on their site like uh, battery packs and things like that. And I'm hoping to get some of that stuff on the channel because that is something that I carry around constantly on me in my backpack is charging packs and things like that. So hopefully we'll get some of that stuff on the channel. But anyways, yeah, very cool. Nightcore, check them out down in the description. Next one, you know, let's get outrageous. Let's get a little outrageous. So I have featured one of these on the channel before, but not this version. So this is a Katsu <clears throat> crossbar lock hatchet or ax. Now, the thing is, is my other one came with G10. This one has shred carbon fiber handles and S, and then the other one I think was D2 steel. This one's SLD magic steel, which is a very, very tough steel. And, you know, I did use my other one, uh, the D2 one, and I used it quite a bit. I was, you know, hacking some stuff with it. And the lock held up really good, even without the pin. However, you still do have a pin back here. So it's a glass breaker and you can unscrew it and you can lock the knife for, or you can make it has, make it have basically like a fixed blade where it's very secure to where you're not gonna have to worry about it unfolding on you because this pin will stop it. So even if you unlocked it, it doesn't matter. It's not gonna be able to move. So it just kind of makes it even extra secure, but to be honest, you know, this is just cool factor. That's what this is. Is it practical? 
you know, eh, I mean, you could have it in your truck for a just in case type of thing. Um, you know, with the glass breaker and everything, you know, you could consider it a weapon. That's for damn sure. It could definitely be considered a weapon. And that's probably where it fits the best is as a weapon, more so than as an outdoor tool. But, you know, you could improvise with it. I did, like I said, I, I've chopped wood with it. I, not with this one, but the other one, you know. And what's cool about it is I do like how you have this choke up spot. And if it did fail because you didn't have the pin in, it's not going to hurt you. You know, it'll just just kind of lock back up. It might pinch your finger, but it's not going to cut it off. But you know, you can kind of use it. You know, um, you know, like say to 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 shave wood and things like that, which is very comfortable. You know, it does have a nice grind on it, as you can see. It does come down to a nice cutting edge. It is very sharp. And yeah, and then the crossbar lock. We all know crossbar locks are very strong. Now the lock face geometry has to be well done. And on these, I have found them to be very well done. No problems with the crossbar lock on this. Like I said, I didn't even fail it without the pin. So I did notice on my sickle one, my folding sickle, which I do really like, and I think they're really cool. That one did fail on me a little bit. And it's just the positioning uh, of the, the, um, the sickle, but it's really cool though, man. A folding sickle is just a badass. So, and I imagine for anything self-defense, you're probably not gonna have to worry about that as much. Um, but anyways, um, this thing, these are both, both of them, the sickle and this is very easy to deploy and get to work. Uh, you know, like I said, these are cool factors, self-defense th tools, whatever you want to call them. Uh, but you know, they're, they're, like I said, they're kind of like Batman tools, you know, where they're just really cool. Now, like I said, the crossbar lock is very strong and you know, all the stop pins and everything are nice and large on this. It is very robust and it does feel like it was made to be swung, used and, and to hit things. Um, I kind of like to do that. And then I also like to just pop it out. Just give it a little thrust and it'll pop right out. So anyways, it comes with a beautiful case and you can get, I think this is sold separately, but you can get a nice little holster for it so you can carry it in the field, which is really cool. You know, so if you want, do want to carry it, it does have a tech lock. And what's cool is these tech locks, you could switch this to something else if you wanted to. Great, great clip option. I personally love these things because it makes it, what the heck's going on? Oh, push it in. So you, uh, you can just clip it right around your belt without taking your belt off and lock it on. And then if you want to rotate it or anything like that, you easily can and you can remove it just as fast and see how it has the pattern. That means you can move it and turn it whatever direction you want. You know, say you want to carry scout carrier or anything like that. Cause like I said, you can put it on other things. You don't have to have it on this exact thing. But anyways, I think that's the way it goes. Does it go this way or that way? Oh, it goes this way. So yeah, very, very cool. And, and you know, it, it's uh, it's different, you know, and that's what I love about it. And I do have a full video on that if you want to check that out. I also have a full video on the sickle that you can check out. Let's get to the next one. Now, the next one is the Mini Bay. Um, now this is just, this is an absolute fidget toy. It is so addicting. Like if you have this sitting next to you at a desk, you will not stop fidgeting with it. It's literally an adult fidget toy. Now it is, <clears throat> excuse me, it is in 154 CM blade steel, little sheep's foot blade, beautiful sharp control and plunge grind. It is a double detent knife. So it has a flipper tab and you just push the spine to slap it shut. But it has a, such a snappy detent. Like this is, once you flick it, you'll, you, if you have one or if you get one, you'll see, man, the detent is so crispy. It even has a cool sound to it. Great breaking detent, man. That's exactly the type of detent I want on all my knives. Um, now it does have a deep carry clip that's inset with flat screws. It's not reversible, but uh, it has the Mex Mexican blanket G10. Um, I'm not sure if this one's my card or G10. I think this one's just G10. But anyways, they make Mexican blanket micarta and G10. Um, but anyways, what's cool about it is it's so compact, so small, so tiny, but you have a nice little blade there for opening things up. It's a great little office knife, you know, something when you're on your computer, you can sit here and fidget and mess around with stuff while you're on the mouse, you know, and if you have a package to open or something, you got a little blade, you know, and it's very non-threatening considering it's not even a locking knife. So, so, you know, uh, very, very cool. I think that thing's awesome. And then last is the Wee Nefaris. Now I've already done a full video on this. I will throw a little card up in the corner. You can watch that. Now 
I don't know if they showed up and then sold out and now there's more coming or if they just haven't shown up yet. I apologize. I was not checking the site to see if they dropped because I already got it, uh, but I should have for you guys. And I do want to apologize for that. So I reached out to Blade HQ to ask them what's going on. When are these going to be in stock? Because they were supposed to be in stock on the 16th or the 15th, 15th, 16th, something like that. Something like that. Um, whenever I posted my video, that was the day they were supposed to be available. Now, like I said, I don't know if they showed up and then they sold out. Now there's just another batch coming because you can pre-order it still. I'm guessing that they just haven't shown up yet and they're still waiting for it because they were coming through customs. So they were having issues with them, you know, coming through customs. But regardless, they're coming. They will be there. And, you know, it's just some, sometimes things happen and they take a little bit of time. But I will say, if you've already pre-ordered the Nefaris, good for you because you have an absolute banger that's worth that's worth the time. It's worth the wait. I promise you it is worth the wait. Um, this is one of the best knives of 2023. It absolutely has one of the strongest actions of 2023. I mean, this thing is, it kicks, kicks like a horse. Now, I mean, I even said in my full length video that man, it, the stop, it hits the stop pin so hard. Like, because you know, it just, it almost feels, it hits, sounds like glass hitting. Um, but beautiful knife, man. 20 CV, hand satin finish. There is multiple different versions. They're all available for pre-order. Then this one has the satin finish on the titanium. And we have a hidden lanyard pin back here with the nice blue accents. Gotta love that. The, the dropping action is really smooth. And then another thing, I should have mentioned this already. The flipping action is outstanding, right? Good access to the lock bar, very smooth on the drop. Equally as good as the reverse flick and thumb flick. The, the reverse flick is super duper good. Very ergonomic. Now, personally, I like the choke up spot. If you're back here, you are a little bit away from the edge, but to me, it's still very comfortable. And like, you know, for like a self-defense situation or something like that, that's where you'd want to be. But for regular general EDC, choking up is going to be the comfortable spot. This clip point blade is extremely useful for EDC. Go watch my full video. Um, like I said, if you pre-ordered it, Good for you. You got something amazing coming. If you have not, this is definitely one I recommend for people to, to, to you know, to, to get because I just, I can't imagine somebody getting this and being disappointed. I really can't. Um, it, it is really good. So anyways, watch that full video. I go into a lot more uh, in-depth detail. Work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.